Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and on this video, I'm here to answer a very common question that I get in the comments, in the emails, in Facebook comments and everywhere from you. And I'm actually here to help you. This YouTube channel is to actually help you become a better trader. So that's the reason why in this specific video, I'm gonna answer that question. So if you're new into my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. I do a lot of software reviews, broker reviews, and just like this one, I give you tips and strategies as to how to make money with online trading. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Right, everyone so for this purposes of course I'm gonna have to use the chart in order to answer this question and you probably already saw in the title which is what are the best times to trade binary options in Forex and this is including softwares manual trading signal providers everybody if you provide signals not only if you're a signal provider from our signals group which by the way i give you a warm invitation blwsignalsgroup.com in order to be part of the biggest community of signals in binary options and a forex now i'm going to use the charts in order to show you exactly why there are better times to trade than others I usually trade around 16 GMT and 20 GMT or between those windows is fine. But the best times are from 16 GMT to 17 GMT, let's say, and 20 to 22 GMT. Now, there are some limitations when it comes to actually pairs availability at a certain schedules. Uh, mostly the um, uh, 22 GMT or 20 GMT time zones. but if you have the possibility to trade with those pairs, absolutely awesome. Now, in a future video, I'm gonna answer what are the pairs that are the best ones to trade with. So you, you better be subscribed to my channel and activate the notification so that you know exactly when I post that video. Right now we're in Euro GBP. Uh, let me switch to Euro USD, which is the pair that I use the most. Now, right now we are looking, uh, let me see what time zone is in here. 14 GMT. Okay, this is in GMT. Awesome. So right now we still haven't gotten to uh, G, uh, 16 GMT. Let me go ahead and change it to 30 minutes. Okay, so we're looking over here at, and let me also move the support line. Uh, yeah, there's another one, I think. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. And this is just to give you as a reference, right? Uh, I think the support line is right here. I'm just doing this like fast for uh, purposes, is not support and resistance advice, right? So I just found some good levels. So right now we're gonna go to 20 GMT, which is around this area. Take a look at 22 GMT. Uh, 20. This is 20. And hopefully you can see the, the small number in here. 20, you see in this at the bottom, it says 20 GMT. Notice the fact that the support and resistance in this specific time frame, 20, 20, 30, 21, 21, 30, and even if you can bring the support line a little bit up, all, all the way to 24 GMT, even 130, and all the way to 3 a.m. GMT, it broke the resistance. And do you know why? Because the market is way more stable at 20 GMT. From 2019 GMT, notice that the last time the resistance was actually broken was at 15 GMT, then it was all the way to 17 GMT, and it entered in a way that the support line and resistance were, was going to be supported within the next few hours. Take a look at the 15 minute candles in the same area, because I want to check the same area. 14, where is it? Where am I? I think I lost it though. Hold on, hold on. Oh, shoot, no. All right. 
15 minutes and we're gonna be looking at this area yeah here it is take a look at the 15 minute candles over here from uh, let's say 19 GMT 19 GMT is a good time as well there you go 19 GMT this is where 19 GMT starts take a look at one put you enter around this area put for binary options and if you enter for forex take a look at all the entire drop but binary options you can win one two maybe three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven signals you can win eleven signals as puts for 50 minute trades let's take a look at the calls after 19 gmt which is this area it dropped all the way here and you can win one two uh if you enter for the next one three four four trades plus the 11 trades that's 15 trades win with 15 minute trades that's the reason why 20 gmt nine from 19 to 22 gmt it's amazing it's an amazing time to actually trade at least with this pair now let's take a look at 16 gmt which should be uh that's number 12 let me see 16 gmt is around this area right here let me just go ahead how do how can i add an arrow here uh there you go yeah around here it starts around here let me go ahead and draw support and resistance lines uh, um, now notice the difference notice the difference and let me draw a second one because i don't want to lose one there you go here's one and here's another one all right this is a G this is uh let me see 16 GMT and this is 19 to 23 GMT right probably this one is uh, not uh, to 16 like for 18 GMT do you notice the volatility within 19 gmt or 16 gmt do you notice the volatility it's crazy right now 20 g 19 to 23 gmt is the most stable market in the world all right for at least for the most common pairs which is euro usd gbp usd usd cad aud usd uh, usd jpy and euro gbp gbp usd as well and if you notice around 16 GMT, the volatility is a little bit higher, which means that, for example, here there was a cool support uh, right here. But if you notice, it got broken many times, one and then another one and then another one, then another one, then another one, then another one. So if you notice, this, there are support lines that are being broken a lot like here there's another support line that was broken here there's another support line that was broken and so on i can continue but i, I think you, you see my point the best times is 16 and 19 to 23 gmt what happens there look around uh like uh what is it like around 4 gmt or something like that take a look at the trends and this is where many people take advantage of drops and jumps this is mostly for forex traders take a look at this take a look at this you see take a look at this why because the market is way too volatile or not way too volatile but it's not really that stable but like around 19 to 23 gmt or around 16 gmt if you don't have any other option you can see the stability of the market so this is the reason why when you ask ask me what are the best times to trade i say 16 gmt or 20 gmt thank you very much for watching this video i hope it really helps you guys out make a test a go background and the pairs that you're looking for uh, go to tradingview.com of course and use these charts 
And let me know in the comment section below if you found this valuable or not. If you found value on it, make sure you smash the like button. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.